Good morning, good morning, good morning, brothers and sisters. Good morning, good morning. Praise them on Jesus Day. Resurrection Sunday. Resur I like how that sounds. Anyway, good morning. We thank the Lord and Savior, Jesus the Christ, for another day of life, another month to see, another spring, another April, in which we all have never seen, in which we all will never see again, 2022. Big up to all the Muslim brothers and sisters as they are in the fasting of Ramadan. You know, shout out to all of them. Big up to YouTube for giving me this opportunity to share what I'm going to talk to you about today. I shared a video yesterday. What did I talk about yesterday? Um, hmm. I did so many videos. I'm going. I'm going hard, y'all. I'm going hard to get this word out to bless y'all. Give you the, the knowledge that the Father's given me so I can give to each and every one of you. All the children, uh, little boys, little girls, all the teenagers, preteens, all the adults, men, women. Click, subscribe. It's going to bless each and every one of you. The parents is going to bless you as well. I'm trying to still ponder what I talked about yesterday. Um... Anyway, we're going to move off of that. We're going to go right into the word. Okay, so listen, this one right here, there, oh, I can't, I forget what I talked about yesterday. Pride, the root to all sin. But let me tell you something right here, right? I'm going to do two more videos on that. I, ain't, I'm, I don't know when I'm going to do it. Probably, to, I don't know. But, you know, the Lord lead me and give me time and allow me to still be in the land of living. I'm going to go forward. But today I'm going to share a brief word with you all. And I'm going to talk to you about... The power words. Now, we all saw the situation that happened with Chris Rock and Will Smith. And like I said, I'm not going to gossip. I'm not going to slander anyone on my channel and everything. But I won't share this with you, right? I have my opinions and views on that. That's fine. I keep it to myself and those who I feel to share with. But I will say this. Words, whoever came up with that saying, sticks and stones, May break my bones, but words will never hurt me. That is not true. That is a lie. Listen to this. Everything stems from words. The Bible talks about, as we look in Proverbs 18, verse 1, right? Let's go to that real quick. Let me turn there so y'all can, um, if you have your Bible, file along. Two scriptures for you today, right? Let this bless you. I don't know why this froze up. And if you can, you know, I got Bible apps on my phone. It's always best to have a, a physical Bible and everything. I need to start carrying mine with me. I got a couple of them. Uh, the Bible, once again, that I read, y'all, is from the NLT. Basic English. I don't get caught up with the King James. If You, you know, if it edifies you and blesses you, amen. It does not with me. So that's why I read the NLT. And that rounds for you rappers. So anyone that takes that, I want some uh, publishing. <laughs> okay, why is this thing not pulling up? Anyway, almost there, y'all. I'm just trying to figure out why is this not pulling up here. Don't, don't, don't. Don't, 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 don't. Okay. Here we go, y'all. We going. It's a rainy day out here in YC. But we thank the Father for the rain, you know, because we all need water. You know, water is essential to life. Right? So we go into Proverbs 18.21, y'all. 18.21. Let's go. Let's get them. The death. Excuse me. Verse 21. The tongue can bring death or life. Those who love to talk will reap the consequences. Proverbs 18.21. The tongue can bring death or life. Those who love to talk will reap consequences. Words have powers. Powers. Most people, they get into altercations based on what is said. Sometimes it can be face fighting. I'm all up in your face and staring you down. But usually from that leads to verbal. And where did the verbal start from? It starts from in the mind, in the heart. 
So what I want to tell you guys is, as the word says, from what the father shared through the prophet Solomon, that death and life is in the power of the tongue. You know, as he shared in uh, Proverbs, it says those who love to talk will reap the consequences. So everything stems with what we said. If you speak death, don't be surprised if it come on you. If you speak life, don't be surprised if you get it. We got to be very careful in how we use our words because words cut. It cuts the heart. It hits the mind. That's why certain things you say to certain people, you cannot take back. They can forgive you. They will never forget. There's things that people have said to me, have done to me, and I've forgiven them. Why? Because the Father forgives me. He's merciful to me, so I'm merciful and gracious to others. That's the only reason why. If it wasn't for him... I would not. I would have wreaked vengeance. You know how like you watch the Chinese movies? Like, you kill my brother! I'm going to revenge my brother. That would have been me. Anyway, but words, words are very powerful. They speak death. If you speak it, you kill people with your words. You're either going to build them up or you're going you to you destroy them. It's nothing wrong with constructive criticism, but everybody can't handle the truth. Yes, most of y'all, if y'all didn't see that movie... Uh, a Few Good Men, great movie, you know, um, Tom Cruise, Gene Hack, no, Gene Hackman's not in, I'm bugging, Jack Nicholson, I mean, all-star cast, one of the things he said in that movie, he was like, yo, I want to know the truth, and he told him, Jack Nicholson said, you cannot handle the truth, why, because the truth is in words, and I want you to know, I want you all to know today, be very careful, especially I share this in another video. You know, a righteous man is cautious in a friendship, but where the wicked leads them astray. I'm very cautious with those who are in my circle, who I love and I respect, whether family or friends. And they are very few as far as friends, family, abundant. But I'm very careful. You know why? Because death and life is in the power of the tongue. There's people that was real close to me. I don't even deal with no more. Why? Because of certain things they said. You know, people that was real best friends to me and everything like that, don't deal with them. You know why? Because not that I don't forgive them and everything like that, but because they spoke more death. I don't have best friends curse my marriage. I don't have best friends curse me, curse my son. You know what I'm saying? I don't have people. People have said certain things to me that will warrant them death. Seriously. And everything. But because I am a man of Christ, I've forgiven, I moved on, and I move forward. Always move forward. Always keep marching. And the words hurt. One of my favorite movies is The Hobbit. No, not The Hobbit. The Lord. Of, well, I like The Hobbit too. But The Lord of the Rings, you know, at the end of the movie when Frodo's talking to Sam... You know, after years of going to River Top and he got stabbed, you know, and he was like, yo, what's going on, Mr. Frodo? He's like, it's been seven years since River Top, Sam, and this thing still hasn't healed. And there's some there's some wounds that go too deep. Some some injuries that you will sustain no matter how surgery therapy you will never heal from. These are the facts. Only one that can heal you is him if he choose to. You know, so. When we speak certain things that's negative or we speak certain things if, out of anger to people, you got to be careful. You can destroy people. You destroy relationships. You destroy people's minds. You destroy people's hearts. People snap. I bring up the Chris Rock and, and Will Smith situation. Regardless on your opinion on it, you felt like he was right. He was wrong. What led to that reaction was words. Everything starts from words. We got to be careful. And I'm not justifying anything, period. I'm not justifying what Will did. I'm not addressing really what he did. But I will say this. Words lead to everything. We see that in day-to-day -day life. Relationships are destroyed all the time because of words. Certain words we say and we do. You know? Even as parents, parents, we got to be careful when, you, when you, you know, you never curse your kid. You never tell them they ain't going to be nothing. You never tell them, you never criticize them or, or critique them all the time. Those words, words, words. I am not, I'm very hard on my son. I'm strict. I'm, I, I invoke discipline on him because unfortunately my father wasn't in my life like that. You best believe I'm going to be in his. 
despite what situations has happened between me and his mother, I fight to be in his life and every opportunity I get, get on him. But there has to be a balance. I make sure I speak more life into my son than I do death. And I don't speak death, but I, I'm strict and I'm, 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 I'm very, uh, I'm very serious about discipline. I'm very serious about respect. I'm very at my son to tell you I'm very serious about respect how you treat people how you interact with people it's all about respect when you interact with people always look them in the eye you know you don't have to do hand gestures to talk you don't have to do that you know always address people good morning good afternoon good evening especially when you're dealing with adults you know words 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 some say are spells they could be but words as the word says bring death and life which words are you going to choose to use today and as they move forward? Because like I said, I'm very mindful with reaction to things. I've been in situations, once again, I bring up the Chris Rock and uh, Will Smith. I've been in situations like that based on words that were said and based on me getting slapped in the face too. I don't know. I worked in the shelter one time. This dude hit me with a burger, cheeseburger, cheese sliding all down my face. Now, even though the cheese tastes good, it was embarrassing. But my reaction based on what he did, which started from my words to him, I didn't react. I took it. And I'm using this as an example. Words cut. They affect people. Every, everybody can't handle what you may want to say. Everybody can't handle your truth. Everybody can't even handle the truth uh, uh, of uh, what you may want to tell them. And truth be told, you can't handle certain truths that people want to tell you. So you want to be mindful because certain things you can't take back. Don't say things out of anger. I, I don't have people say things to their children that they regret. Children have died and they regret that they've said. Oh, I only said that because I was angry. No excuse. You have to be careful what you say. What you say goes here. The person, only, only way it doesn't affect the person, if the person is numb and don't care. But even if they're numb and don't care, still some of them, it comes down to respect. Oh, where you said that? very disrespectful and not everybody even though as believers we should forgive people wrestle with forgiveness and not everybody forgives i'm gonna read this last scripture with y'all and i'm gonna close out and everything because i wanted to make this a little short bit but sunday man it's the lord's day i need listen you know this is not probably what you want to hear but this is what you need to hear this is the truth right here from the lord and savior jesus the christ hallelujah James chapter 3, right? I'm going to read this. Dear brothers and sisters, not many of you should want, should become teachers in the church, right? And this will be clear. I'm glad he said that. Me, I'm not no apostle. I'm not no pastor. I'm not no minister. I'm your brother. You know what I'm saying? I'm a sinner and a saint. This to be clear. And if the Lord calls me to be those things, any one of those offices in those positions, I know what, what that entails, I know the level of sacrifice that entails. He hasn't called me to those positions. Certain people have called me to, to those positions and I didn't meet their requirements, but I don't think he called me in those, those positions because when you're in those positions, you're going to get judged more harder as well. Seriously. So just to be clear, this is your brother coming to you. This is not Pastor Rala, Pastor Marshall, Deacon, and none of that stuff. I'm a disciple of the Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. I'm a student. I'm your brother at the end of the day, just like each and every one of you. This is your brother encouraging, instructing you. I can go around saying I'm a pastor because I do pastor people. I can go around saying uh, 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 I won't go around saying I'm an apostle, even though I do the works of an apostle. I'll go around saying I'm an evangelist, all that stuff, because I do all these things that you see that's depicted in the word. But I don't claim none of these titles. I'm just a disciple. I'm your brother. So this is your brother teaching you, encouraging you, building you up. Let's go back into that word, right? Just to be clear, you know, because people call me these things and I always tell them, bring them back to reality. I'm not that. I'm, your, I'm just your brother. Don't put something more to me than what the father says who I am. Once again, go back to that video. Last one yesterday, humility, right? For we who teach will be judged more strictly. Facts. Indeed, we all make many mistakes for if we can control our tongues we will be perfect and could control ourselves in every other way that is so true thank you lord we can make a large horse go wherever we want by means of a small bit in its mouth and a small rudder makes a huge ship turns 
wherever the pilot chooses to go, even though the winds are strong. In the same way, the tongue is a small thing that makes grand speeches. Powerful. I don't know why this froze here. But a tiny spark can set a great forest on fire, and the tongue is a flame of fire. It is a whole world of wickedness corrupting your whole entire body. It can set your whole life on fire, for it is set on fire by hell itself. Wow. People can tame all kinds of animals, birds, reptiles, and fish, but no one can tame the tongue. It is a restless and evil, full of deadly poison. That is true. That is true. True. Sometimes it praises our Lord. True. And Father, sometimes it curses those who've been made in the image of God. I've done that. Well, we probably all have. And so blessings and curses come from pouring out of the same mouth. And we all do that. That's why when I say I'm a sinner and a saint, exactly what it is, based on what you're reading. <laughs> Surely, uh, my brothers and sisters, this is not right. Does a spring of water bubble out with both fresh water and bitter water? Does a fig tree produce olives or grape wine vine produce figs? No. And you cannot dress, draw fresh water from a salty spring. So... We have to realize that death and life is in the power of the tongue. The tongue, we can't control our tongues. It takes discipline, though. It takes time. But we have to control what we say, especially when we get to the point where we're angry. Remember those words, the words, those words, those words. Words is going to build you or it's going to destroy you. So with that being said, brothers and sisters, I want each and every one of you to have a great month. Um, just be mindful what you say. Try your best to be self-controlled. Try your best to be very careful. You know, you got to look at the bigger picture in the sense like what if what am I what I'm saying? Is it going to be received? Some of us are conflict avoiders. Sometimes it's good to be a conflict avoider because if you know what you're saying is going to produce conflict and you're not ready to deal with that conflict, avoid it. That's cool. But sometimes people need to hear the truth. But you have to be very careful. That's why the word in Proverbs, uh, Solomon talks about in Proverbs, a word aptly spoken is like setting the silver on fine eyes. A word aptly spoken. Be very careful. Meet people where you're at. The Bible talks about in the book of Corinthians. I don't know the scripture off top. Forgive me. Um, you know, and this is who I this is who I am now. I'm all things to all men. I relate to everyone in that aspect. I meet everyone where they at. I, the father's got me to the point of understanding. I may not agree with certain things other people do. And a lot of things actually what people do. But I understand why people do what they do. No matter what it is, I understand. And I tell them, I understand. That don't mean I agree. Point is, you got to uh, I've gotten to the point where I'm now all things to all people, you know. With that not drifting off the, the the topic, I'm very careful when I'm dealing with certain people what I say to them because I know how they will perceive it, how they react. Some people feel like, well, you know what, you got to hear this. And I said that earlier in this video. Yeah, uh, this may not be what you want to hear, but this is what you got to hear. Yeah, but I'm very careful how I deliver it. You know what I'm saying? You know how people say, don't kill a messenger. Yeah, sometimes the messenger kill, get killed delivering the mail. So you want to be careful on how you deliver what you're saying. And if you want to say things to people, make sure, especially if they piss you off, they hurt you, don't retaliate in your anger. Don't go harder than what they go harder than you in that aspect. Because you probably could take it, the other person can't take it. And I've learned that. So I'm very careful because I know from experience, certain things you say, you cannot take back. So anyway, brothers and sisters, have a blessed day. Jesus bless each and every one of you. Have a great week. Um, have a productive day. And make sure you take time to pray. Make sure you take time to go through those scriptures. Proverbs 18, 21 and James chapter 3. And uh, I pray each and every one of you have a blessed month. Once again, like I said in previous videos, don't do nothing stupid and die before your time. Be wise on what you say. Always encourage one another, build one another up, humble yourself, humble yourself before the father first, humble yourself with your words when you talk to him, you know, be humble when you dress other people, humility always works, you know, but with all that being said, you got to operate in the wisdom or excuse me, obtain the wisdom, you can get the knowledge, pray to the father, you have wisdom, meaning the application of the knowledge that he gives you, all right. Thanks once again for guys watching this video. I pray it blesses, encourages, uplifts, and empowers each and every one of you. In Jesus' name.